Hey everybody, greetings from the Dank Basement. I'm Paul, your wicked Uncle Squiddy. Hello, YouTube pipe smoking community. I'm pumped. This has been my week of fresh tobacco orders. I recently received an order from the Pipe Nook, if you've watched my previous video. And I got a bunch of really interesting tobaccos to try. I've got the Sunset Harbor, which I've never tried before. Night Train, which I've never tried before. Old Joe Krantz, White Label, which I have never tried before. Star of the East Flake. I have tried Star of the East Ribbon Cut, but never the Broken Flake before, so that's pretty exciting. Got a couple of tins of the McBaron Burley Flake, because I, at the time, was having difficulty acquiring the aged Burley Flake from Solani. Well, I finally found, thanks to YouTube viewers, a source for the aged Burley Flake from the Solani, and I got some ordered from TobaccoPipes.com because the big retailers just didn't have it. Now I've thrown a couple of other things into this box since I opened it and the four ounces of the Lane RLP6 I have since put into a jar. But one thing that they sold, and I, I'll tell you everything I got here in just a second, but one of the things that they sell for a buck are these great little pipe nails. It's all you need. It's a tamper. It's a scraper. There you go. If you if you need a serious reamer or a pick, this will do the job of a pick pretty well. Uh, not much of a reamer, but it's great for tamping. And I'll pull the one that I've got actually unwrapped in my pocket so I can show you. But here's the thing. If you are also a nasal snuff taker, it is a beautifully sized snuff spoon. And it's very easy to handle and keep in your hand and stuff. So very nice. All right, what else did I get, you ask? Well, as I said, I got some bulk. I've got some RLP6 because I like to keep some on hand. I also got some of the LL7, but just a couple of ounces of it, and a couple of Lane's Dark Red. They're very strongly scented black cherry and vanilla tobacco. It is brilliant if you like aromatics. A couple packages of the BJ Long's Tapered Pipe Cleaners. I got a tin of this. Now, I'm not happy because what I was looking for was jackknife plug and again, sold out of it. Why are you guys sold out of all these great tobaccos? You have almost nothing for Gawith. You've got nothing for Gawith Hogger. What's going on? I don't want to hear how McClellan's closed. I don't think that's why you don't have Gawith and Hogger. Now, oh, come on, guys. Come up with a better excuse than that. But anyway, I got the jackknife ready rubbed. I have had the jackknife plug before. We'll see how it compares. Got a couple more from Solani. I, I re-upped on the Silver Flake 660. But I also got their Virginia Flake, and I'm very, very eager to try that. And kind of a weird one. Where did I put that tin? Oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, this is it. The 50-gram tin of their Mango Flake. Now, I was really disappointed in X Sweet Mystery. I thought it was not at all worth the price. It was bland and blah and goopy, and I didn't care for it. Uh, I thought it was a waste of money. So we'll see how they do with this Mango Flake. I'm encouraged after trying their straight tobacco, non-aromatic blends, including, and now I have had the black and white, the Silver Label 650, very much looking forward to trying their Virginia and their aged Burley Flake as well. So anyway, Christmas comes every day when you have the pipe and tobacco acquisition disorders, as I know I have. Thank you for spending a little time with me, YTPC. I hope you're having a marvelous first of May. Uh, my mother used to have a saying in her elderly wisdom. When the first of May rolled around, she would brightly proclaim, first of May, first of May. Outdoor screwing starts today. <laughs>